Okay, we're going to start by putting this O-ring into the call the stuffing box. I'm going to use a little bit of the grease to help hold that in. A little bit of edible grease. This is loaded onto the back plate. Before I do that, I want to make sure that the seal face is clean. I'm going to wipe that down. There's four cap screws. You just lightly tighten that one until I get this one lined up and in. back through and tighten them up. At this point I'm going to dab a little grease in this o-ring groove and add this second o-ring. Okay. Come over here and we're going to load the follower. I'm also going to make sure this seal face is clean. Wipe that down. This gets loaded onto the shaft. We have our rotating seal, which has an O-ring in it. I'm going to lubricate that O-ring. And I'm going to make sure this seal face is clean. This gets a cup. And you notice on this cup that there's a drive tab. We're gonna load this onto the shaft. And I'm gonna use our drive collar to help seat that O-ring in. And at this point, I'm gonna turn that tab so it's not at 12 o'clock. I don't want that tab to be in alignment with these pins when I assemble this. Now I'm going to put the drive collar in. At this point in our manual, this is a 216 pump. There's a dimension given here from the shaft shoulder to the drive collar nose, 0.572. So I put my calipers at 0.572. I'm going to come in, I'm going to set that collar at that dimension. Back in, tighten the set screws, there's two of them. And again, I'm going to make sure that that pin is not engaged with that tab. Now I'm going to install the spring. At this point, I'm going to dab a little grease on my shaft gasket. And that gets loaded onto the shaft. I have a second seal. Again, it has an O-ring in there. I'm going to lubricate that O-ring, assemble the seal onto the cup, and I'm going to make sure that face is clean. Again, this, I want to make sure again that that is not in alignment with those tabs on the drive collar, so I'm going to have that Turned, that stays there. Now I'm gonna load my stuffing box in. These two flush 
pipe holes are going to straddle this flange right here. If we load that in, I'm going to put the key in. Now we're going to come back here and we're going to put the follower bolts in. We're going to snug these down. At this point, you can turn the stuffing box so and get the other bolts in. Just be sure to get those flush holes back to where it straddles this flange so you can get your flush tubing in there. Kind of tighten these up in sequence. Okay, now we're going to go in and I'm going to tighten the impeller nut. Casing. Done.